Hey my lovelies, welcome back. Let's make some butternut squash soup. I'm starting by peeling my butternut squash. I'm actually using two, but I'm just showing you one. So yeah, I will peel the seed and then cut them into small chunks. So guys, did you know that butternut squash is actually a fruit? and not a vegetable as some people would think. I used to think that myself as well until I just discovered a few days ago that it's a fruit and not just that it's a fruit, it's also packed with loads of vitamins, minerals, fiber and antioxidants. You can also research and find out more about this delicious fruit if you like. So I'm going to cut them into smaller chunks now and guys please if you're going to be doing this make sure you have a sharp knife at home otherwise you're going to struggle because this fruit is really really tough or better still just buy the already chopped ones and from the shops okay so i'm going to do exactly the same thing with the carrots i'm going to peel and then cut them into sizable chunks and so you know that all the veggies have been washed because it's very important for us to wash our vegetables and you can also replace your carrots with apples if you like so I'm cutting the onions as well into chunks and this last one I'm just going to dice because I'm going to saute that um, later. Anyway, you see when I get there. And then I'm adding one scotch bonnet which is optional. I also have ginger and I'll be adding um, garlic as well. I'm adding more ginger because I want the soup to be more gingery. And then if you want more garlic, you can also add more garlic. So I added salt, black pepper, and I'm going to be drizzling some oil on the squash and the carrot. And I'll just mix this thoroughly. So I've lined my tray with a parchment paper and I'm just going to spread this evenly. You can also use a non-stick um, Tray, tray for this purpose if you've got one my oven has been preheated for 220 degrees and i'm going to be baking this for about 40 minutes and i've just tossed the onion into the olive oil i'll just mix and set that aside the squash and the carrot has been baking for about 25 minutes so i'm adding the onion and the scotch bonnet and i'm going to Put them back in the oven and allow them to um, bake for the rest of the time. So I've drizzled some oil in the pot and I'm going to allow this to get hot a bit. Then I add my onions, fry it for about three to four minutes. Add the garlic and the ginger, fry it for another two minutes. Guys, please feel free to use any spice that you like. Um, the one I'm going to be using are just the ones I like to use for butternut squash. And then I'll start adding the spices. I'm adding black pepper, curry powder, and turmeric, which is um, just to give it a more yellow color. And then I mix this. I allow it to fry for about a minute or two. And then I add my nutmeg powder and then fry it a bit again. And I've just added my vegetable broth, but you can use any other broth you've got. Um, this is supposed to be a vegan soup. So yeah that's why so i'll mix this and just allow it to cook for about five minutes and then i turn it off i allow it to cool down the veggies are baked and i've cooled down a bit so i'll transfer them into the blender if you notice i didn't add salt while cooking this because the vegetable broth has got salt in it then i add the spice garlic and ginger mixture which has also cooled down and then i'm also going to be adding the remaining vegetable broth then I blend this into a smooth blend. And then at this point, you can actually decide to have it like double. I'll pour it back into the pot that I used earlier. And then I'll add my scotch bonnet and just allow this to heat up a bit. And it's ready now. So I'm just pouring some sour cream on it. Yeah, you can have yours on its own. And then I'm also going to be sprinkling some pumpkin seed for a little bit of crunch. Yeah, guys, I will serve it with some garlic bread. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit of hot pepper salt just for yeah, extra heat. Thank you so much for watching. And please remember to give this video a like if you found it useful. Comment and also share if you can. As always, I'll see you in my next one. Hope you are signing out.